All right, so Knights of the Cross, and I'm gonna say this name wrong. Uh, Chris, Chris AC, Chris AC. All right, today we're gonna check it out, guys. We're playing the game uh, a little bit before the game comes out. Thank you, Dev and publishers, for the review copy. So, is it good? Let's see. To give you a little bit of an idea, this is a story-driven deck-building RPG. Is it too loud? Let me turn it down a little bit. Deck-building RPG. So even like, look at this. This is right up my alley. Look at this. You got like uh, relics and turns and like three characters, a deck, energy, characters. So, and really important, by the way, this is not early access. Like I'm playing like a little bit of, this is version uh, 0.8. It should be version 1.0 if you guys play this when the game comes out right away. But um, yeah, I'm very, very excited to try this game out. So let's just jump on in, yeah? Check out the settings first. Uh, full screen, no borderless option. Okay, that's cool. It is borderless already. Display teammate skill bar. Why would I not do that? Ultimate animation, simple name, no. Character pack, Western style? Western style? What does that mean? Even like, like the, like, I don't know. Okay, talents. Whoa, so there's meta upgrading in this game? Uh, challenges, unlock after clearing any difficulty. All right, let's get started. Recruit Lord Knight. Can I pick these? I can pick these. You can't do that. Okay. So damage. So enemy takes more damage. I take less damage. Uh, so this is the permadeath is off. We have unlimited healing. I, we can refresh for free. We can reshop. We can do that for mercenaries. Um, higher teammates will not die after defeat. Will not die. So these two will not die. I'm assuming Lord is permanent then. Okay. Uh, 10 times healing only. Refresh. Okay. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this. Yeah. Why not? You want to skip the tutorial? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Keep an eye on your health. Blah, blah, blah. So like I said, if you want to see my review, it'll be on the main channel. If you like this game a lot, I'll try to upload multiple uh, videos a day. Uh, God, that was really fast. I couldn't read that. Teutonic Knights started wars. Like a dragon. Okay, Lithuania. Greedy. Drew swords. Innocent souls. How are you supposed to look at this thing and read this at the same time? Like, how are you supposed to appreciate this and read this? Okay, something about war. We're playing Fire Emblem, guys. Some of this stuff might change in the finished version. Uh, but if not, it needs to be changed. Like, slow it down, guys. Or let us... Like, you know what's even better? Let us press a button when we want to go forward. Okay, uh... I mean, the art's cool. I'd be sick if they had voiceovers. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so, yeah. You, you guys see that graphical error with the title? Remember, I'm playing an early version. This Hopefully this changes by the time you get you, you get your hands on it. Oh, now it's going super slow? Oh my god. They were not even willing to find justifiable reason for their atrocities. This is Queen Jadwiga. Indeed, they fought, and then they fought me in the name of God. Yet I returned under the wings of God. They refused to retreat. Damn! Look at this character. It's a freaking sprite. King Jogaila. They are no longer envoys of God, but followers of devils. When the greedy ha so these two are uh, married, right? When the greedy hounds come to our doorstep, only shield and long spears can protect our people. It's time to go to war. Let Knight Jasko go to. Olesnika to recruit Polish knights. Gar will know. Oh my. Okay. So this is we're in Poland. Uh. Cute. Mako. Hey kid, did you hear? The fighting started over. I will know. And they're recruiting knights at Olesnika. Just the two of us working as laborers. We won't be able to build Bodagnia. Uh, Bogna. Bog. Bognaniak. Bognaniak? Bognaniak. But if we get our reputation on the battlefield, that'll be another story. Farmland mills, they're all in sight. I won't let you miss much of this valuable opportunity. Let me see. How much would I tell you have you remembered? Okay. Uh, display simple name. The game's default characters and city names are the original Polish names. Oh, I see. So instead of this, we can call it Spike Town. <laughs> instead of calling it Tanyek, we can call it Cathedral County. I see. I might change it, guys. I can't read it. I'm sorry. The difficulty of the quest will be displayed here, like a one star. I see. Uh, hold up. 
This shows the enemy encounter and the quest reward. So one enemy rewards clear her to enter the battle. Okay, let's let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your character. When you HP, you lose. This is the enemy. Defeat them. This is the enemy's intents. This is the relics. These are your cards. Uh, energy top left. Drag it to use it. So we have a uh, strike and we have magic bomb. Magic and strike damage. So two different magic types. Mako. All right, we use a strike card. Oh, I like those animations. That's nice. Use cards go in the discard. The ultimate bar grows upon protagonist taking damage. Playing cards consume energy. We have five energy. Click next. Keep uh, at the end. You can choose to keep two cards. Ooh, that's pretty strategic. Keeping two cards. Let's continue the fight. I'm going to put the simple names on, by the way. Uh, what's Western style? I don't know what a Western style meant. Character pack. Ah, eh, I'll leave it on. I don't know. Damage. What's this? Look. Oh, before and after. Hiya. Hiya. I might as well use both, right? Like, why would I keep both of these? Just attack. Hiya. You deal five to the frontmost enemy. So they hit me for five. Arrgh. I like how we got animations. Magic bomb block apply five to a net so so this is kind of like um if you guys ever played uh, across the obelisk i guess it's gonna be kind of like that right magic oh yeah i like how he puts his shield down to throw a bomb at him <laughs> victorious you are victorious i got a medal of honor Ugh, don't dwaddle no one's going easy on you in battle uh i get a triple strike Mock him. Mock him. I want that triple strike. Uncle, let's sit down and talk. Should I go find a surgeon? <laughs> it's a minor injury. You learn some skills, lad. Here's some money. Buy some gear. You remember the family battle card? Grady. Grady. Or Grady? I don't know. Crush their bones. 150 gold. You got card triple strike. One attack. Deal two times three to a random enemy. So we're doing basic six damage. So that's the same amount of damage as my regular strike. However, if we could buff our simple attacks up, we can get like way, way a lot of uh, stuff out of that. Henry level one experience points. A A gold and choose a card. Give me the gold, and we get to choose one of three. If you abandon, you get ten bucks. I'm assuming if we get a card, it's gonna go in our deck, and we have to keep it no matter what. Deal five and gain block. Apply vulnerable. Enemy takes 25% damage and it goes down by one. That's pretty good. Deal eight damage to an enemy and restore half. That's pretty good too. Um, but I'm going to kind of combo. I'm going to go vulnerable. I think that goes well with my triple strike. It's going to do like, uh, you know, instead of six damage, do eight damage or something. The center square of Spike Town is just a Spike Town. Yeah, we changed the names. The recruiting captain is there. You must perform well. Are you joining uh, Knight William to serve his majesty? Yes. We came here overnight. You and this child? Commander, my long sword is ready. You can't keep me out because of my age. Interesting. Hope your skills match your words. I'll give you a chance. You two go together. Marcus joined the team. Story teammates come and go as the story progresses. B. He, so this is his abilities? Leaves the battle in 1-5. Leaves after the battle in 1-5. So what, what? We're in 1-1? One, 1-2 one, one, right now? Check the details of the team. It's dropped them. You have four characters? Skill trigger conditions. Red for attack cards. Blue for magic. Skill cards are triggered by protagonist cards played. Got it. Okay. After adjusting, click here to complete. Line up. Check out the deck. When grouping, uh, when the number of cards reaches 20, the deck grouping function will be unlocked. The fewer cards, the easier it is to get the ones you want and teammate skills triggered. One time use cards go here. After understanding, you can return to the, so like if we had a consumable or something, it goes there, okay. Please enter the main quest. Start main quest. Okay, so far so good. It's a little rough around the edges, but 
you know, we'll see. Teammates are idle. They respond to cards. Oh, so we have a main guy. But then the kind of combos we play will activate their abilities. Each teammate can only release one skill per turn. Best skill is prioritized. Uncle can only teach you so much. It's up to you now. So look at this. Oh, I see. So we could prioritize optimizing our hand. Or we can try to activate their skills. I see. This is cool. So I could do in my hand. I can like the best I could do is red, red, blue. This guy's gonna do random nine to a random enemy. So he does the he's hitting the back line. I have five minutes. This is charged. He draws three extra cards. I'm gonna play strike first. Five damage. I don't know if I Oh look. Yeah, yeah, I can activate this now, or I can keep building on this, I think. So now we're gonna do triple strike. And I'm pretty sure you have to play in order. Oh no, you don't have to play in order. You just have to play it. Look, see? Let me check. Yeah, look at that. So instead of doing four times two, I'm gonna activate this. And now he has six times two. I don't know how to activate it. Maybe it'll happen at the end of my turn. Anyway, he's hitting the back line, so I'm gonna block the back line. And that's why you wanna kinda save stuff. I guess, whatever, hit him. Okay, so this is a little bit more, um, I guess, simpler than Across the Obelisk, where in that game, you get three characters, or four, and you get all of their cards in one deck. <laughs> this is a little better, I think. Like, more simpler. I like that a lot. So it resets, right? Yeah. So if we get a lucky draw and get four and one, see, that's not going to work out. But if I activate my charge, we might be able to get two more reds and we can pull it off. What's he doing? He's blocking. Well, let's just do this for fun. We didn't get it, but we can hold cards next time, so that's okay. So we're gonna do, see the thing is I can save Devil's Mark now because I only have, well, I have, I have a bunch of attacks. Nah, let's just kill him. Vulnerable, attack, attack, and then we'll do this. And we'll do it again. So he's doing 14 damage. It was six damage. So I'm gonna end my turn. Now I'm gonna keep, 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 keep these two. Next turn. Okay, I like the combat system. It's, it's different, it's different for sure. Damn, we're never gonna get enough of this. I should've, oh, it's his other attack. So, okay, so it's four times two, six times two, frontmost enemy, lowest HP. Oh, cool, so that's really important too. Lowest HP or frontmost or sweep. Deal 20 damage to all and apply bleed. Dang. And look at that. Sweep level one. So you can like level it up even further. Anyway, let's take this guy out. Oh, he's not dead. Here. Get out of my foot. You're not dead? How much armor you got? You're dead now. Nice. Alright, this is neat. This is neat. You too. Rest well and report to the camp tomorrow. Yes, commander. Hey, we're doing it. Gold. Choose a card. One of three. Sacrifice. Deal 12 damage, but sacrifice three damage to myself. Double strike. Three times two. Hmm. It's pretty good. Deal eight to an enemy. If it's killed, gain two strength. And strength is uh you can see there on the right. It's just permanent damage for the for the for the battle. I think I'm gonna get a double striking. Huh. Well, there you go. So, is there like, like, how do we lose the run? <laughs> Our mill, farmers, and hoof village, Henry. We must grasp this opportunity. Every day there will be new events. Some high star with high rewards, but also stronger enemies. Lifting the axe. Shouldn't worry about sawdust in your eyes. That's the principle. You can only choose one main quest. Random or side quest will not affect your progress. Okay, that's important. Camp is visited by random NPCs as the story progresses. So Ava is the healer, Sandy is the shop, Mayal is more recruiting, and the anonymous decreases the deck size. Click on the camp shortcut to enter the camp. The gold is the core resource. Spend it to restore health. Purchase relics and cards. He decreases the deck limit. Trial allows you to challenge the bosses defeated by you. I wonder why you want to do that for fun. 
Click on recruit to get a teammate. Yeah, recruit teammate. You could refresh up to three time up to three at a time. Click a teammate's detail on the right. Click check the okay, got it. Now it's you for recruit your own teammates. So two more, because we're using Mark. Refresh is 25 because we're playing normal mode. So C is C probably like like the rank, like how good they are probably? Attacker route. Oh, you can see the kind of stuff like this is more blue this is more blue and she is more red so if i build my deck more red it's going to be easier to trigger this deal four times two to the highest and bleed bleed is true damage so it goes through defense and it halves it afterwards you can view it oh you can level it up the bleed stays the same but you do a little bit more damage this is 150 100 100 i'm taking the 150 Deal three times three to the two frontmost. That's pretty good. Same bleed. A lot of damage. Gain five strength. Focus mine. And defense? Defense must mean like... Because uh, if strength is how much damage we do, added on. Defense must be how much added on defense we do. I wonder what lifesteal does. Like if it's a one-time use. So like maybe two hits and then it goes away. Who knows? But anyway, we're taking this character. What's this pool? Unlocked five. I see. So I guess further down in the game, we're going to unlock more characters to roll, right? So I'm going to focus on being primarily a red deck so we can get our like a little bit of red and blue. I'm going to recruit Romilda. I don't have any more money left, so let's get out of here. It's very chaotic. Having more will be safer. How much do we... How long? How much minimum deck size? What's 8 out of 8? 50 bucks? I'm poor. How many cards do I have? Total cards. Oh, I think you said like 8's the limit, right? So I ended up getting this... I don't even know. This is a gold? This is gold, right? It's in green. So we have red, blue, green, and yellow? So magic. Attack. SPT? Spirit, I'm guessing? And then props. Okay. Oh, we can rename the deck too. That's interesting. Um, let's take a look at this. You need to feed a, bo a boss first. The shop. Let's check out the goods. See how let's see what kind of stuff we're working with. So cards and relics. Hmm. Let me just look at the relics here. At the initial turn of each battle, get one extra strike. Damn, that's pretty good. Especially with my with my cards that do my attack that do multi strikes. They get more out of this. When an enemy dies, three heal to the team. Mm, interesting. And then the healer, 50 bucks. 10 times for the run. All right. Let's go. So we can go camp. If we do a main quest, I don't know if we can do both main quests or they said do one at a time. But let's do a random quest. Uh, okay, let's try it out. It said rank three, so we might get wrecked. Looks like you're a traveler from afar, huh? Got some news. Hey, you have violated the law. We will seize your cargo. Your outfit looks too fake. Prove your identity. I don't have time. Bring it. Event ends. Open special store gain gold. Fight a battle so I can leave. Or I could be like, hey, we're fighting. Are you going to rob us because your lie was exposed? <laughs> okay. Got it. Okay. That game's pretty sick. Okay. So I'm assuming both their attacks go off. Damn, I can only activate their, their single. This thing's charging. Five each turn. Nine, nine. I'm taking 18 damage in the front. I'm taking 19 damage in the front. Who should I hit first? The militia or the spearman? I don't even know. All right. Well, anyway, this is definitely happening. I'll take a little bit of... Oh, my health didn't go all the way back up. Yeah, we're going to rush down one character. Uh, let's, let's just let's hit this guy in the front. Take that. I don't have any buffs, so it doesn't look like the order matters right now. Magic. So both of them are getting their secondary off. If I had one extra card in my hand, instead of the green one, we would have been able to pull this one off. Boo. Nice. And bleed. <gasps> Do they bleed at the end of their turn? Ow. 
Yeah, it's at the end of their attack. Oh, you can speed things up here, too. I'll worry about that later. He is blocking to the back line, and he's attacking me. We're going to go ahead and hit this guy still. Uh, one, let's vulnerable this guy. And yeah, we can take him out. No, he's not. See, if I do this... Hold on. This does... Uh, five times two. So he won't die. But then this one with the highest HP. So I have to kind of like look at this. Be like, is it worth hitting him? Because if I hit him, he will hit the front most and kill him. He'll finish him off. She will hit the highest energy. Uh, no, no, the second one. This one. The, yeah, yeah. So this is it's good. Yeah. I'm wasting my damage because she hits both. He'll hit the front and she'll hit both. So that's what you kind of want to do, right? There's a strategy there. He killed them already. Very nice. Or did she pull it off at the same time? I don't even know. I think... Did they pull it off at the same time? 15 damage to the front? Dude, I'm getting my ass kicked here. We can play all my cards, though. Deal two times three. And then block. So I'm taking five damage here. What's this do? During a turn, play attack or magic card continuously. <gasps> oh, shit. I didn't know that. Okay. So if I keep doing red, it'll get damaged up. But more, no more than two damage per. Oh. Oh, man. All right, all right. Interesting. He's dead. But after he attacks, let's just take him out. Okay, remember, try to play... Like, this This actually works really well for me again. Oh, looks like you are very important. Please accept this gift. Take a look at my wares. I have 20 bucks. I can't believe he didn't give me any money beforehand. You got any relics? I just want to see what they do. When healed from the doctor, heal extra 10% more. There's so many relics here. There's more meaty bone. At the start of your turn, if there are no allies, more energy. Wow, going solo. Um, at the end, you get at the initial battle, you get two furies. When dealing damage, each fury increases damage by one. Okay. For every nine support cards, I wonder what a support card counts as in this game. Was it the blue ones or the props? Gain one energy. At the initial battle, at the <laughs> mystery lamp. All right, let's get out of here. I will look for a new guest. 30 bucks. Level. I leveled up. New teammate unlocked. Unlock new ally. So we get Quintina and Modima. These guys are unlocked permanently for me to get in, um, I guess, the recruit phase. Right? That makes sense. And we get this. So there's like mastery and stuff. Gold. I wonder if we're only going to use this guy at the beginning. Or if we're going to use other people as well. Okay. So, uh, I'm a little hurt. But not really. I think we're okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, there is a chance that if we get five of the, Like, four of these and a blue. We can actually activate those guys as, like, five. Oh, look down here. Oh, I didn't realize. So, it's four colors. Four colors. Probably shouldn't have grabbed this one. It's good because I got it for the effect. But I didn't know that you would combo like that. But it's still pretty decent. It's not bad. All right. So let's start with, I don't know. Like it, I'm assuming if we do one of these, the other one will go away. Camp patrol. I get 10 bucks and a quest card. I get 30 bucks and a quest card. Well, let's just go for the easy one for now. Let's just see if the other one goes away. The camp has been stationed. Everyone be careful. Those armored clad hyenas are waiting for a feeding opportunity. Let me see. Henry. Commander. Patrol the camp. I've heard about your skills. Don't let me down. Yes, sir. A while later, you heard some rustling in the forest. Okay. I wish it would transition a little more cleanly into that. But whatever. S let's see. I'm taking 17 in the front. I can only block 5. I can do a charge. Might as well do a charge. There's no reason to hold it, right? One, two, three, four, five. I can get this one off here. So his special on five is 20 damage plus bleed. 
first special is five strength. Well, it's not going to be that long of a battle, so I think we'll try to get the sweep more. So I'm not going to be blocking this turn. I wonder if I can kill this guy. I will be blocking. So we're going to go. So if we're going to use our relic to its finest, we want to use our double attacks a lot more. Oh, random. We want to use our double attacks later because this does five. This should do is the six. Now this does five times two. It's never going to get stronger than that. Now this is four times three randomly. All on him, we have one energy left. So if I do blue, this will activate and this will activate. So we'll do magic blue. So my guys will attack first. So sh yeah, so this guy should die. Keep, keep this card. So 20 damage to all. And then she does damage to the front. Boom! That was pretty sick. Ha! So yeah, killing that guy, instead of using double blocks, I negated more damage, right? Kind of. 11 to the front, doesn't matter, this guy's dead. So yeah, even though you get a lot of cards, there's like there's a lot of like style play styles, you know? Because of your your you know, your teammates. I guess you could always play optimally. <laughs> I don't know. There's like a lot of stuff so far. A few mice try to sneak in. I've taken care of them. Good job. Yeah, he upgraded. Skill upgraded. Trigger is now level two. Now he does five times two. Got it. Total gold and a card. Remember, we're primarily going red, but I'll grab a couple blues here and there. Deal damage and heal. Deal damage and bleed. Double strike. I kind of want to heal a little bit. I'll take the blood spell. It doesn't seem to have a downside. It's even the same uh, cost. Border Lithuania. Yeah, it looks like it was one quest only. Did you see? Many people gathered in Knight William's tent. There's a big prize waiting for us. So yeah, I see it went, it went away. Food escort. So chapter one, four. Each story chapter has five levels. Completing any main quest will advance. And completing a side quest of random quests so you can so you have an option of doing this but you can hurt you can really get messed up or you can keep doing this easy one or a harder one leading up to five so it looks like yeah there's five so i don't know how many chapters there are but you have to do five stages beforehand understood that's pretty good the following npcs are visiting anonymous camp oh so they're not here every single time i got it let's remove a card mit what? What the hell? What? One time use cards did not. I. I total card six. What the hell did I just do? Minimum deck size negative one. Seven of eight. Does that mean we can only do it eight times? What the hell just happened? Oh, 19. Oh, I see. Oh, I thought we can delete a card from what we already have. But no, once we get three more cards, a fourth one will probably, I don't know, make us knock another one out or something. That's a weird way of doing it. You know, a, a lot of other roguelikes card decks let you destroy a card. But this one is the limit. Um, okay, sure. We didn't need it yet because I didn't know it worked that way. But that's all right. So because this is a level one, I should do this. Quest and, you know, random stuff. Ava's choice is bound to the difficulty of nobles. Master Aguirre has asked me to deliver an ultimatum to you. If you don't cease your absurd behavior, we will sever ties with you. I have understood his intentions. Lady Ava. Sister Ava's situation doesn't look good. Fight a low difficulty. We gain gold and restore HP. Or we get kick. Now here's the deal. Um, I don't know what kick does. I'm afraid to click here because I don't know if it's going to let me see it. I think we'll fight the low thingy and get the thing. Like, I don't know what kick is. I wish hovering over would show me. So I know if it's worth getting or not. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, Alright, so this guy's the show is the guard. Damage and bleed. Well, looks like we can't do much but just straight attack. One. Two. 12 damage. It's pretty good. 
Now we can only do this. She's going to get her spell off, which is gain five strength. Strongest spell gets prioritized. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no. He's 24 damage. Damn. Actually, if I didn't play that, would she have killed him? He has 12 HP left. 3-3-3 three, 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 and bleed. So, no. It wouldn't have killed him. It, he would have 3 HP left. But he would he would have died. He would have died, but then only after attacking me. So, it didn't matter if I did that or not. If I didn't play everything or not. Ouch. I wonder if I can later... Like, if I can move her here. So, when she triggers, he'll get the 5 plus damage. If I can switch it, it would be more better. I'll, I'll check it out. So, this is nice healing thing. I can't buff it. Remember, if I do blues in succession, it will buff it so I can heal more. But there's only one blue. So I'll do this. I'll heal for four. And then we'll just hit him. So I'm going to check if we can switch him out. Because it would be nice for her to get buffed. For him, for her to buff him. To do a, a shit ton of damage. I'm truly grateful. Blah, blah, blah. Entire team gets ten. I'm the only one taking damage, by the way. huh? No level up. Twenty gold. Oh, okay. I'm really interested to see what happens when we lose. I think when our main character dies, that's just it. Right? It's over. Um, and then we got to restart. And that's why, you know, it's chapters. Like, it's it's meant, like, it's sort of formatted in the way of an RPG. But exactly what it said. Like, you get one random thing or skip and go ahead and do one of these things. You got a lot of choices. It's, it's nice. I like this a lot. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Can I switch them? Mm, pro oh, what the heck? Promote? Level five? Oh, so they get stronger. They get stronger as you play them. I see. Line up. Line up. Line up. Look at they get abilities. Story teammate. Higher teammates. Yeah, so when her buff goes off, this so oh that's perfect. Yeah. So let's say this one goes off and then his second one goes off. Five strength. So that would be eleven times two? Imagine if... Oh, my God. I, would, I wouldn't have taken damage in that last fight if we played it that way, huh? That's sick. Okay. What was I doing? I wanted to look a little bit more on, um, like, themselves. Henry, attacker. At the end of a battle, if low, you heal. Okay, so he's going to play this guy a shit ton. He could promote. What? Promote? <laughs> um, Squire. Complete the story 1-5 to unlock a new role. Complete story 5-3. Dang. So so pretty much get to the first chapter or beat the game and then you unlock this stuff. Dang. Talent tree. This is the meta. I wonder how you get these. Does it show? You can reset. Is that is it free? Talents. Okay. I can grab one now. Add a 5 stars quest. First turn heal. Oh, interesting. At the start of a battle, get 50 bucks. I should have been doing that. Add a five stars first quest. Get one. Oh, interesting. I need, a, I need that extra money, dude. And you can reset for free, right? I'm assuming. Can you have more greed? For every one card, get gold. We Gold is like super important. At the end of the battle, get extra five gold. Every time you pick up the rewards, get an extra, give up, get an extra ten. That's tight. Damn, I should have done that already. Yeah, missed a bunch of money, huh? Um, so we have the... Yeah, this guy's here. Okay, so let's do... Uh, let's just go as far as we can. So I'll do the easy ones for now. I think I did a three-star one before, but it's okay. Let's just try to get as far as we can. Listen, Henry, I saw it. You could bear heavy responsibilities. Now everyone's going to reinforce Griffin Castle. Of course. Go ahead. Send food. I'm waiting. Can't get around. Enemies watching closely. Okay, got it. Seven and eight. They're all attacking the frontliner. I wonder if I can move to the back. Actually, like obviously I'm still going to be attacking. But if someone can tank it, that'd be cool, right? Uh, but anyway, let's see what we got. Okay, so it looks like he's activating. She's not activating this time. I mean, the ultimate. I think we can kill the guy. No, this is both. This is guys with the lowest HP. 20 to all okay we can probably kill this guy first let's do this one two three four he's dead he's dead already because he's gonna do 20 to everybody 
probably could have hit this guy too, huh? Because she's doing three to three on the front two most enemies. So I didn't need to hit this guy. I did not need to hit him with that last attack. So I missed a, a little damage here. Yeah, you got to do a lot of mathing it up, huh? Come on, let me draw my other card. Dang. Wait, I can block this turn? I'm going to block it. The reason being is I have a, uh, a healing card, right? So I want to go ahead and wait for it. And I'm going to keep this card. That allows me to make the, heal, uh, the healing card better. So I didn't take any damage. There it is. So instead of healing four, we're going to do this. And we're going to heal five. Three. Why did you do that? Oh, was it his leftover HP? Oh, man. Leave quickly before anyone notices. So that was pretty easy. All right, skill overview triggered. So this is her first level. Just a little stronger. Water flow. Gold. Blood spell again. Three armor to designated. At the start of the turn, get block equal to stack. And reduce it when taking damage. Oh, so like... Okay, so that's metallicized armor from uh, uh, Slay the Spire. Double the block. We don't have a lot of block in our deck, huh? I'm going to go for the heal. Maybe we could just heal instead of take damage. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, we haven't really got much defensive cards. Because it won't allow us to do our special. The knights come like a black tide. So now it's a boss fight. The warring of the Polish-Lithuanian alliance arrives, extending the life of the city. Yeah, yeah. Previously, Knight Bruce was captured. We lost a lot of manpower. Do not despair. Our reinforcements are still here. Griffin Castle will not far. God, I don't know. The story is like whatever, though, huh? <laughs> camp. Well, camp again, of course. Um, so I'm a little hurt. I'm like 50, I'm like a little, a little hurt. 70 bucks. I can heal or I can recruit. 150, 150, 150. So the higher the rank, the more money. And I'm assuming they're just going to be straight out better, right? Character pool. So it's what you can get. Yeah. So Modima. This guy, this is the new guy. Let's see what he does. Um, He has a lot of health. And he's an attacker card. So this one uses blue and green for attacking. Uh, triggered by blah 5-2 to random enemy 5-2 to the front most enemies 16 times 2 lowest and bleed dang pretty cool pretty cool anyway we're poor it's our first boss so i guess i'll heal oh man oh we can only do it nine times during the full run but that's okay uh we're ready to go i got nothing else let's do it Griffin Castle, seventy bucks and a reward. It is a freaking, freaking trebuchet. As long as I'm here, you will not step on the walls of the castle. Blah blah blah. Legion Imperial Catapult. Catapult seems to be the worst. Two of them are hitting, uh, Romilda. Hmm. Let's get some charge going, huh? One, two, three. I can activate her blue, which is what? Five strength. That's pretty good. I guess I'll do that. Armor. So they got armor and you have bless. Each bless prevents one debuff. I guess I'm going to take this guy out first. He's the weakest. So what am I going to do? Red, red, red. And then two blues. Red, 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 and two blues. Deal damage here. There's no point not using this. So now she's going to give strength for him to do his secondary attack, which is going to be uh, 11 times 2. 11 times 2 damage. So end turn, and I guess we can hold on to these. It didn't work. Oh, hell no. Her move sucks. I thought it was five strength to everyone. 
It's five strength to herself. That's gross. But at least if I trigger flowing, that's eight times three, which is pretty freaking good. God dang, dude, what a setup. Anyway, let's get that off then, right? So we want red, red, blue. So don't play more than one blue this time. I can do that. Um, that's a lot of damage. Let's start with this. He's healing, he's buffing, he's gonna hit me. Random enemy. And then one blue only. If I do another blue, she's gonna go all out. So I'm gonna blood spell. Is he gonna die? Five strength. 18 times three. He's dead, so I don't have to worry about hitting him. Just don't activate her blue again, so I'm just gonna do a block on the front line. That's it, 18 damage. We can do another block. So this is it, this is the strategy of the game. There you go. So the longer the battle goes on, I mean, after, buffing her once is actually just good enough, right? It should a lot of hits. 18 to the back line. Oh, the most HP. Oh my God, back line's taking 36 damage. That's a little too much, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so what do we do? Can we kill anyone? No, we gotta just take one at a time though. This guy has 30, actually screw it, he has 30 health. Let's hit the back line. So, this is free. Yeah, yeah, this is free. Free, oh, prevents a debuff. Yep, they prevented the debuff. That's too bad. All right, so I have five. Um. No one special can activate except basic strike. So her is actually going to be a, a lot of damage. That's 10 times 2, 20 damage. Okay, that's kind of nice. Anyway, I'm in the back line, I guess. Highest HP enemy. And then we'll do... Ooh, did I hit him with the strike? I should have hit with a bunch of these magic bombs instead. All right, well, anyway. Let's make sure you don't take a lot of damage. Use the rest of our damage doing this. So these two are activating. It's fine. What are we gonna do about it? So let's see, 10 to the front, 10 to the front. So if you read this thing, I think when it says one here, that means position one, right? I'm assuming. Okay, so nothing special, just the uh, 25 damage. I can't really prevent all of that. I can use two on myself, and I don't think we can kill anybody. Um, do we want to activate anything? If anything, we want to do red, red, blue. Yeah, we can do red, red, blue, and then two defenses. That's perfectly fine. Oops, this one. Ugh, yeah, it's fine. Perfect. Red, red, blue. Blue. And then two blocks. Two blocks. Now check this out. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage. Boom. Boom. Ow. Okay. So kill him quick, otherwise he's gonna do that. This guy's doing 18 to the front. I have two of these, so I can heal. Um, let's see. So if I activate her blue, mm, I want to do two blues because I want to heal, right? No, I think it's better to do her flowing, her flowing attack instead. Yeah, let's do that. So I don't activate two blues. Don't activate two blues. So let's do this. So the guy in the front's pretty much dead, right? Hold on. Lowest enemy, 20 to all. Yeah, we're gonna activate four and one. Yeah, let's, I don't have four and one. Oh man. I have three and one. Yeah. Lowest, yeah, okay. Two, three, four. So that's it, we don't wanna activate the other one. Otherwise she's just gonna buff herself instead of doing the damage. So she's gonna do 24 damage to all, and then he'll do 12 to the back one. So we're gonna save that. So that was good. 
Ow. And then I get to keep these two. I guess if I have two in my hand, it'll just save, right? Like, it's not, it, it didn't ask me if I wanted to save anything or what. That's good and bad, isn't it? Because what if I want to throw something out to recharge? Maybe the game might not have anything like about that. Can we kill him this turn? I have three blues. Uh, we can do one, two, three. Yeah, I think he's... No. Yeah, no, he's, he's dead. He's dead. Do this. So 45, 24 damage. No, he's not dead. So if I activate one more, she's just gonna buff herself. I'm gonna have to do this. So yeah, he's not dead. It's close though. It's close. I could get a charge in, but it's fine. I'll let him take, you know, I'll save the charge. Yeah, he wasn't dying. Cause we're gonna do a team heal. Or maybe in between chapters you heal. I don't have to, I don't want, maybe don't wanna waste that. This game's pretty strategic, I like it. It has a lot to think about, but it's not like over complicated. Like it's, it's definitely more complicated than Slay in terms of like what you can do, but it's not as like, God dang it. Like Obelisk, across the Obelisk is like so freaking heavy. It's so heavy for that type of game. They retreated. Right, right. After a long siege, the Griffin Castle, which stood still, exhausted the patience of the Teutonic Knights. They attempted to engage in life and death duel. However, under the witness of the Papal Envoy, Knights of the Polish-Lithuanian Alliance defended their glory with lance and shield. We finally saw peace. You level up. Not yet. Gold. Choose a card. So in this portion, you should be able to see your deck. Double strike. Bleed? I think we keep going with the double strike, right? Or we get a third blood spell. Um... I think three blood spells is fine. Now we get a relic. Okay. First turn, two fury. It's pretty good. Remove all fury at the end. When dealing damage, each fury increases damage by one. So we just do two. So strength is just better because it's persistent, right? And fury just goes away. I'm assuming that's how it works. For every six attack cards played, deal seven to all. That's pretty good. In battle, right? Not like a turn. So that means uh, the, at the very best, every other turn, we're going to be hitting him. Uh, when an enemy dies, draw a card. Nah, I'd rather use something that works through the whole battle. I'm going to grab the Razor Blade. I got an achievement. Angels and Peacock Feathers. Queen is about to give birth. Please, take my gifts to the Queen. And Henry, a duel at court would be your chance. Go to King's Land. Okay. Welcome to Poland, bitch. Kid, an eagle's wing can't protect you for a lifetime. You have to soar on your own. <laughs> Don't worry, I can understand that. But there seems to be some noise in the monastery. Don't mess around. I don't want to sleep in the stable. What, is there a problem here? Uncle, I'll go to the end. Don't take too long. So the tutorial, the story guy is gone. Okay, story guy is gone. Dang, we kept our persistent damage. Ugh, gross. All right, well, that's kind of hard. I gotta have to heal now, huh? Yeah, that's kind of rough. Two random quests. It's a four star. Ooh. Romilda. Who's this? Oh, you here to praise me? You got a card, Fire Purge. What the freak? It's a purple card. Oh, it's a per it's consumable, right? One time use. Uh. Okay, I'll take it. That's kind of cool. So, that is here. So, this doesn't go to the the total, right? So, I can have one more regular card, and then the rest we can start destroying and shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven, and... Eh. I mean, it's nice to have even, I suppose. I don't know. Um, trials. Recruit. 200. 100. 100. I think we need another character, like, now, though, huh? Who do I want? They're both attackers. Treasure Hunter and Forest Guardian. Apply 5 damage and weaken them? That's pretty good. 10 damage and 2 weak? 
18 damage and remove all buffs from the enemy. It's pretty good. Um, reduce block by 5 to enemies and then deal damage. Reduce block and then deal damage. Reduce block and apply vulnerable. Oh, interesting. She's pretty good. She will... Um, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. We're mostly going to get this off a lot. T 10 to 2 random enemies. That's going to work. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll get this one pretty often. I think we'll do this. And then hopefully we can heal as soon as possible, right? Uh, once we get a healer, that is. You got holy water. I Okay. Uh, to bless prevents a debuff. Remelda? I'll continue my sword trading. I'll continue my sword trading. Are we going to get anything else? I, mean, I clicked on her by accident. Um, let's see. Um, so it doesn't matter what order, right? I mean, it does. It, do, it does matter sometimes. In this time, in this case, it didn't matter. In this case, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, because I thought, like I said, the focus mine. I thought that buffed everyone else. So our damage got lowered a little bit because the guy's gone. But we now we have uh, some buffs here, so that's kind of cool. Alright, let's go to this level 2 star one. No one would accept two subpoenas. So these are random. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've already paid the taxes, monk. I'm just helping someone out. You must be a scammer. Drive him away. That German priest seems to be in trouble again. Let's help him out. Let's help him out. He helped us last time. When did he help us out? Dude, look at that. 10, 10, 10 to third. 1, 2, 3, 4. She's taking 40 damage this turn, dude. That's so rough. All right, we're definitely doing this. They're not really... Like, we don't need this, yeah? He's not really doing a debuff. Can she debuff everybody? She can only do weakness to... Ugh. So we want to do red, blue, blue. At least two blues. I want to heal myself. Yeah, this is going to be rough. All right, so we're going to do red, red. Basically, oh, she's so easy to, like, not mess around with. Like, not, not mess anything up, that is. Oh, let's start with this. So definitely doing two reds because that's all I got. Then we'll do blue. Wait, two blues or one blue? Two blues because we want... Dang, if we do that, then she's always going to use focus mind, which is kind of, like... I guess this will be a longer battle. Attack. So two blues. Oh no, she needs the other red. Okay, this is good. This is good. And we're going to block her in the back because she's taking all the hits, man. That's rough. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to use that that debuff. That's, the debuff card is probably good for boss battle. It's like debuff. Look at that. So they're doing seven damage. Ow. Ooh, I just got her. She's getting wrecked, dude. Burning to a single enemy. This is free. I'll just use this on the back line. Okay, and I'm playing vulnerable. What do we got? Okay, so my attack cards. Oof. Well, definitely gonna play all of our attack cards. But do we wanna play in order? One, two, two. One, one, two. One, so we do this. We do this. She'll do 10 to two random enemies. That's kind of hard to do. Blue, blue. Dang, I should have hit him with the vulnerable. It's 50-50 when, when, when I activate her uh, trigger, her multiple trigger, if it's gonna hit this guy. It's 50-50, I'm not, I'm not willing to take that chance. Oh no, this is random enemy by the way. God dang it. No. <laughs> oh good, she hit him. Oh yeah, yeah, that was close. One, ten, one, one. And they're debuffing me, applying weakness. Well, if I die, I think it's over, right? So, buff myself. Damn, this battle's a one star by the way. What the balls? Oh god. Oh. Oh god, the weakness. Is it per strike or per turn? Oh man. It's per turn, so I do weak for the full turn? God, man, that suck. 
I got blood spell. I got two blood spell though, so that's good. So we're gonna use everything, right? Yeah. So let's start with this. Using these two last so I can heal a little bit more. And this is fine. Two to vulnerable. It's just vulnerable. That's fine. We don't even need to use this. Should I save it? I'm saving it. Oh man, scary, huh? Alright. For every six card, deal seven to all. I didn't even notice this going off, dude. Like, I don't need to hit this guy. Because after two cards, he just dies, huh? So, so let's get a little heal going. Uh, after six... I, oh, it's attack cards! <gasps> attack cards! I thought it was every card card. Oh. Interesting. Three damage, two times four, one times three to a random enemy. All right, so let's see. I have two left. I can activate her. We don't want to activate her special. So that guy in the front's dead. Now this is going to go off. It's seven. So let's see. So the guy in the front's dead. We don't want to activate this. Let's help the back line out. Here we go. And she's gonna hit him with the weakness too. So instead of 12, we'll do like what, nine damage? Yep, nine damage. Took five. And then he's just straight out dead, huh? Oh my God, so much to think about, but it's pretty cool. Doo -doo -doo. Wow, okay. Dang, attack cards. Look at that. Endless agony. Step back, let's discuss the matter slowly. I'm not a scammer. Oh, it's that case. The area is indeed located in the boundary. You guys leave first. All right. Oh, he gave me a discount. I have 20. Why don't they ever give me the money beforehand? They really need to give you the money beforehand, dude. Because I can't buy anything. That sucks. Look, I'm gonna get money now. Give me the money beforehand. What, 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 what kind of design is that? What kind of design is that? Alright guys, well that'll be end for the first episode here. It's really cool. I, I like it a lot. I'm gonna play more for sure. So yeah, uh, like I said, if you want to see the review, main YouTube, other than that, we're gonna keep playing here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.